Hey there, Jazz Mentalists, Paul Toby here. Thanks for joining me for another one of my tutorials. I'm just listening to a recording I did yesterday for a song called But Beautiful. It's in the real book. And I did a tutorial on this and then I just decided, hey, let me sit down and record something. And I'm just listening to the playback. I think it's a good idea for you to record yourself every now and then, and then listen to it, analyze it, figure out some places where you can do things better and just essentially get better by analyzing your own playing. So that's what I'm actually gonna do in this video. I'm gonna analyze it a little bit here and there. I'm gonna play it for you. We're gonna to listen to it together. And then I'm going to analyze certain sections of it, basically take a look at some of the chords that I'm playing. I might not catch everything that I did because you know there are a lot of happy accidents, but I think it's a good idea just to listen to it and let's do that now and we'll go through it a little bit and I'll stop every now and then and talk about it. So let's go back to the beginning, turn the volume up here and let's listen to it. So right off the bat, you can see in the beginning, the, the melody is essentially and then it just gets to the G major nine chord. So there's a couple of pickup notes. What I did with that, rather than just play the notes themselves, I played a, like a D, well, just like, okay, so an E diminished seventh chord. If you put it over D flat, it's a D flat diminished seventh chord. So right off the bat, it gives it a little bit of flavor. Let's keep listening. back a little bit. Okay, so there's a couple of things. So I'm just gonna briefly show the sheet music here. What I did in this bar was I, I did kind of like a two five. So that would be a C7 sharp 11 chord. And then I did the same thing over here, two to five. And I made this a D7 sharp 11 chord. So what does that look like if you're looking at the chord structure? The G7 So what I did was I played this first which is the tritone of the C7 chord in the left hand and then just a D triad in the right and then threw down a bass note which makes it a C13 sharp 11 chord. Okay? And then when I got to the A minor seventh chord, I put this down, something like that. Yeah, so the B in the, in the melody, and then the same chord, which is the leading tones of the D7 chord in the left hand, F sharp and C, so the third and the seventh, and then an E chord on the right over a D. So the first one was G major nine, to C7 with a 13 and a sharp 11. And then when I went here, A minor seventh to D7, kind of makes it interesting when you throw in those extra chords. Okay, let's keep listening. You can hear the movement in the left hand a little bit. All right, we could literally spend the rest of the video just talking about that section there. So let's take a look at it on the sheet music, referring to these bars right here. So it gets to the D7 at the beginning of that line.
I think that's pretty close to what I played. When you're analyzing this, all I'm doing is taking the destination chords, which is each of these, and moving up a half step and hitting a dominant seventh chord. So this would be a C7 chord, half step above E would be F7, half step above A would be B flat seven, and then a half step above D flat would be E flat seven. So let's play it like that. So of course there's a chord on every note. Let's take a look at it in chordy and see what those chords are. So essentially we're going from C7 or C9 sharp 11 to B minor and then to F7 with the sharp 11 to E minor 7. So again, and then when we go into the A minor seven, we're gonna to switch to a B flat seven, sharp 11. And then A minor, E flat seven. And then D, C over D to D seven flat nine. And then a line cliche in the left hand where I'm just moving inner voices. So here. Okay. Really cool sound. Okay, let's keep going. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking like a C sharp diminished seventh chord and putting it around the A7 chord. So from A7 and duplicating the melody in the left hand. Okay, let's see what that looks like in chordy again. So from the A7 or A9, to the C sharp or G diminished if you if you put the bass note as G. It's the same chord though. To A7 over F sharp. Okay, one more time. So I often do that where I'm going C over D to D7 flat 9. Okay. Let's keep listening. Or actually, let's listen back to that one more time. Okay, so there's a situation where I'm not playing the chords at all. I'm reharmonizing based on a left hand scale movement. So let's look at that section here when we're going back to the top. So I can erase what I did here. And then we're starting on a D major seven to an E flat major seven. So we're going up the scale to F, to F sharp, to G, and then we're doing a passing chord. So here's our D major nine chord. You can see the fifth in the bass. And then up a half step. And then to this chord. So it's a really nicely spaced chord. You can see how hollow it is, but it's got a fourth on top and then the rest is fifths. And then just moving the bass notes. So same notes in the top, just the bass changes by half step. 
and then we get to a G sus chord. So. B flat diminished seventh. Okay, let's listen to that one more time. All right, that's all the time we have for this video. Thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit the little bell when you do and you'll be notified of all the upcoming videos that we're making. I'm gonna do another tutorial on this pretty soon where I'm analyzing some of the playing that I'm doing on But Beautiful. When we get into the solo section, there's a lot to be looking at there. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, check out jazzmental.com when you have a little bit of time because as a jazz mentalist, you're gonna to wanna to get all of the tools and arm yourself with a lot of uh, lead sheets and arrangements and backing tracks, lots of stuff over at jazzmental.com. So please check that out. Thanks so much for your time again. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video.